On this episode of Still Loading, Wheelin' Dealin' Adventure. Hey guys, it's Josh, and welcome back to this new episode of Still Loading. I know this is a bonus episode, and on this week's episode, this bonus episode, I'm going to talk about a little adventure I had recently. I uh, went pretty much yard sailing with a friend of mine. Uh, go check him out, Firespin Gaming on Instagram. Uh, he posts a lot of awesome pictures, and he goes out every weekend, and he does. He just travels around yard sales and finds absolutely amazing stuff. If you look at some of his more recent pictures, he found a freaking Game & Watch at one of them. It Like, li- literally, the, je- the jealousy in me is real. It's insane. <laughs> but he was nice enough to go me uh, go me out. I can't speak. Take me out and show me the ropes. Because, uh, I, you know, I've gone to yard sales, but I don't really know how to hunt for games. Uh, you know, I pretty much just go to cons and spend market value, and then I get sad at myself because that's a lot of fucking money I just spent on a game. But at the end, I'm still happy with it because I love video games. But he took me out, and it was an awesome time. We were we were out for a good no- couple of hours, and it was just an absolutely amazing time. I'd love to have him on the podcast at some point to, to just talk about anything. Uh, it could be yard selling. It could be pretty much anything. I'm down for anything like that. How many times can I say anything? I don't know. Let's just keep on rolling. Uh, so yeah, we went out yard selling, and so let's let's kind of start from the beginning, right? Uh, well, we we were messaging back and forth on Instagram about when would be a good time, and this was going on for like months. We've been trying to plan this for months now, but with my wedding, and actually, congratulations to him, he's getting married. By the way, his name is also Josh, so. You've heard my one friend Josh already on the show. Now there's another Josh, so this is just getting confused. There's three Joshes now. The host, the one guy, and then the other guy. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but Josh from Firespin, uh, we we met up early in the morning, and we met up about, it was about an hour-ish drive away from where I live, and I get the message from him, he's like, hey, let's just meet up at 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> and I'm like... Oh, great. So that means I got to wake up at five so I can drive an hour away. But, you know, he also had to drive a short distance to uh, a decent distance, I mean, to get to where we were at. So we met up at 630 and we just kind of drove around. He uh, he had a bunch of yard sales lined up and we just went from yard sale to yard sale and we would find new ones along the way and whatnot. The first one we went to at this house, they were they weren't even 100% set up yet. They had stuff out on the driveway. Uh, we were the first ones there, and the first thing we did, we walked right up and we checked what video games did they have. And they had some PS3 stuff. They had some PS2 stuff. What caught both of our eyes is they did actually end up having some PS1 stuff. Uh, Josh, or from I'll just say Firespin, just so that way there's no confusion between me and him. Uh, Firespin got. Uh, resistance for the PS3, one of his favorites, and also he figured he could, you know, like, either add it or, like, use it as trade value for something. I found this little black case that ended up, and I opened it up, and just on a whim, just to see what was inside, and I got Twisted Metal 1, 2, 4, NHL 98, and, uh, I think Cabela's Big Game Hunter Adventure 2005. Not really my cup of tea, but, you know, to each their own. If you love hunting, maybe it's a good game. I don't know. Uh, but uh, I paid $2 for all of that. So I got Metal Gear. It's not Metal Gear. I'm sorry. Twisted Metal 1, 2, and 4, as well as two, three other games for 2 bucks. That was the first stop of the day. I also believe I ended up picking up... Uh, there was one other thing I got there. Was it just that? I don't remember now. But so, uh, we, that, then that's pretty much how the day went. We, ev- almost everywhere we went, with the hand, with some exceptions, we found something in almost, in almost every development we went to. Uh, we got, like I said, we got those games there. 
Uh, then we would go around to different other ones. We found so many just boxes of things they were trying to get rid of. We found boxes of console games and boxes of consoles. The one, there was like a little like flea, makeshift flea market set up in a parking lot. And the one place we stopped at, it was like uh, they had a full box of PS2 games with a, P- with a PS2 in there. And we paid like grand total between the two of us to combine 20 bucks for a ps2 and like 15 some odd games it was a it was a fantastic deal uh firespin josh at firespin kept the kept the ps2 because i already have actually two of them and it was one that he didn't have and i'm he's going for like complete you know like like it was a white it was a white ps2 slim so now he's just got to find the box so but he's going for all of them he needs he wants every single version. It's really awesome. Uh, so, like I said, check out his Instagram. There's a lot of amazing stuff. But, you know, we kept driving around. and this, <laughs> We went to this one, and this lady said, yeah, we have video games, but I, they're, they're up in the attic, and I just don't want to go get them. And to be fair, she was an older woman. And... <laughs> So we're like, okay, well, well, call us, and he gave him her number. He he gave her his number, excuse me, in the hopes that you know maybe she'll come up and go, or go up and get them, call him, and then he he can pick him up. And uh, <laughs> we got about like two feet, like not even like twenty feet down the road. Sorry, and then he goes, "I'm going back. I'm going to offer five dollars." I'm like, "What are you talking about?" It's like, "I'm going to give her five dollars to go up to the attic." I'm like, what the f- uh, what? <laughs> and we drove around the block, past the same people that saw us pass there before. I cowered in the car seat, uh, embarrassed. <laughs> it, was, it was like, what the fuck is wrong with him? But no, it was, it was really funny. The lady was really good-spirited about it. He offered five bucks. She still said no, but she did promise to, she would call. By the way, Josh, I want to know if she called. You let me know. Uh... <laughs> that was so that was so weird but it was really funny and pretty much the whole day just went on like that it was a it was a blast i mean i'm still recovering from it i don't know how he does this every weekend getting up at the ass crack of dawn and driving around and doing whatever there's i'm still tired from saturday and all the adventures and whatnot uh but all in all the haul was insane i think i spent a grand total of like 60 bucks and i walked away with a dsi an original playstation with a multi-tap and a controller which apparently i overpaid for i don't know, by like two bucks or i don't know five bucks i don't know i i, I threw in an extra five or ten or something not even realizing because i don't know how to haggle leave me alone get off my back um uh no so i got a ps1 with a multi-tap i got a dsi like i said and an xbox 360 though the 360 is busted i'm planning on actually i looked into some trade values to see if i could flip it because i already have a 360 unfortunately it's not really worth flipping so i'm just gonna give it to my brother because he's been wanting one for a while so he's just got to pay for the repairs and he gets a free xbox 360 pretty good deal in my in my book um got a grand total of 20 games on top of that i got a couple wii games i have now another copy of super mario galaxy which i'm probably going to try to trade and see if anyone else is like if i can trade towards something uh but super mario galaxy uh mario kart wii as well as another copy of mario party 8 um and then i got uh epic mickey which i actually did not have and it came with the the paintbrush nunchuck from the collector's edition of that so that was pretty cool i'm really happy i was able to pick that up and then i also got a bunch of ps2 titles i got trigger man which i've never heard of before i got uh tekken 5 which uh casey if you remember him from some of the earlier episodes huge tekken fan i eventually do want to do like a tekken retrospective or just go through the tekken series one at one by one and he's going to be the guy so you better get used to hearing some of his voice after a while because he's going to be on a lot in the episodes to come hopefully well if he's willing please be willing casey um and so yeah we uh i got all that um, and the PS1 games, like I mentioned before, another good lot with that PS1 thing, I ended up getting Spyro the, Dra- the original Spyro the Dragon, and I was, that was freaking awesome, I was really happy about that, because I surprisingly did not own it, I love Insomniac, I love the Ratchet and Clank series, I love, I haven't played much, a lot of Resistance, but I love Ratchet and Clank, I loved Sunset Overdrive, the game they made for the Xbox One, and so I was kind of a bummer that I didn't have that, I excuse me, I did actually have their first game ever released on the PlayStation, uh, 
Disruptor, which is a first-person shooter, kind of like a Doomish clone. Uh, yeah, so it was an awesome time. Um, if you, for all you collectors out there, I never thought I really would have said this, but it's a hundred percent worth just you know yard sale shopping because even with the enormous amount of other collectors out there as well as shop owners who are searching for cheap deals so they can add to their store and sell it for a markup price you know that kind of thing um even with all them out there we drove around for one day and i easily made out with like you know a hundred some odd dollars worth of video games for half the price and not only that it was a ton of fun just kind of driving around talking and just, uh, you know, getting, you know, we didn't actually have time to eat too much, but <laughs> we stopped at Wawa, or for those who don't know what Wawa is, is sorry, it's a convenience store, uh, just some convenience stores, I forgot Wawa is like an East Coast thing, um, or specifically not even all of East Coast, like just like Philly, New York, uh, Virginia area, and now actually in Florida. Anyway, this is in the Wawa podcast, though... I would totally do a podcast on Wawa. I don't know how the hell that would work or how I would keep it going for more than like three episodes, but that's something that's food for thought. You know, anyone else out there, if you want to do it, just cop, just, you know, credit me. I'll be, I'll be fine with just credit. I don't want to do that work. Um, but no. So like I said, it was an excellent time. I definitely suggest it, especially if you're looking to get any, get any more games, uh, for you collectors or anything, it's a lot of fun. Pick, grab a friend, and one of the key things is, I don't want to give away all of his, I don't know if you want to call it secrets, but tricks to the trade or whatever, but the most important thing I can say, go early, because it. We by the end of the day, we were asking uh, people, hey, do you have any video games? And they would say, hey, that you're the fifth person to ask us, and we, no, so no, and Usually that means there's been five other people that have been going from yard sale to yard sale just trying to get video games. So y- you never know what you're going to find. You're going to find some busts. We went to a lot of yard sales that were busts, but at the same time, we went to a lot that ended up with some really good uh, some really good finds. I got a good I got some Wii games, got some PS2 games, got some PS1 games, and unfortunately nothing older than PS1 both uh, Josh at Firespin and myself were really hoping for some NES games or for some Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis. And there's a lot of people who had them at home. You know, maybe they were helping out their family at the yard sale, but they didn't bring it themselves. So it was kind of a bummer with some of that. But uh, yeah, there was a lot of families just getting rid of some of their stuff. And honestly, as much as I'm not a huge Wii fan, the Wii actually has a good number of games on it that interest me. So this was kind of awesome. I got to pick up some games that I want, would have wanted to, but like Mario Kart Wii is still like a $25 game, and I got it for less than that. So it was a very successful weekend, to say the least. Uh, I don't really know how long this was going to go. I mean, looking at the time right now, I'm about 12 and a half, a little over 12 and a half minutes in, probably actually close to 13 after I do some editing and add in the theme song and everything. But yeah, uh, by the time you guys hear this, it's going to be a week, a little over a week after my adventures with Josh from Firespin Gaming. And, uh... I'm hoping to do I'm hoping to hang out with him again and we can do some more game hunting. It was a ton of fun. And I honestly, seriously, I mean as much as it would add competition to, to other game hunters and collectors, including myself and Josh, I definitely suggest it's even though it would kind of suck not being able to find as much, it's a lot of fun just hanging out with your friends driving around trying to find some some neat shit. So definitely at least once just go yard sale hunting. Just not as early as us. Let us let us get all the good stuff. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> no. But thank you all once again for listening. I don't really have much else to say about this. Uh, the adventures were awesome. Josh is a madman in the best possible way. I mean that in the best light because it was a ton of fun. And he really... It, it, it made it entertaining. It was a good time. So thank you all once again for listening. Uh, please remember to rate, review, and subscribe. I can't speak. I'm sorry. Please remember to rate, review, and subscribe to the show. 
uh, rate and review, especially on iTunes. That helps get the name out a lot. Uh, I need to actually get on that for some of my friends' podcasts because I am not a good friend and I always forget to do stuff like that. But it really makes a difference to help get the name out. Thank you all for who have stayed loyal listeners for the time uh, since the beginning. Um, this is just an off week episode. We're still going to be coming back next week with another 40 for 40. Uh, you just wait for next one. Ho ho. Hope, I don't know if it's going to be good or not. We'll find out. Uh, but no. And you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Pod on all of them. And as usual, guys, just any feedback you have, I'm more than willing to listen and, uh, hopefully improve. I hope you guys find my show entertaining. And uh, I think that about wraps it up for me. So have a good week, everyone. I will see you all next week for the next 40 for 40. And I guess, yeah, just to, I guess, repeat again, I will see you all next time.